Yeah, there are places in the world where cancer is very rare. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's usually because of the diet that is common in those locations. It's been discovered. I think Dr. Weston Price was one of the first ones that discovered this and documented it many years ago, almost 100 years ago. But literally, the, the thing about cancer is it occurs usually as a result of lifestyle choices. And those lifestyle choices in places like the United States and Australia and Canada, New Zealand, even most European countries uh, where we're uh, civilized, eating civilized food that's been processed and m much of it lost its nutrients and, and uh, you know, the, the food has grown in a way that it's not as helpful as it should be to us. Uh, but also, the dental work that people get done, Dr. Price found that in places where there was no dental work done, in, in islands in the Pacific and so on, the people were very healthy mm -hmm. and rarely ever got cancer. Um, so obviously this is one of the major issues. And of course now it's been very well documented that uh, the dental work we have done affects our health directly and it must be corrected and it is very possible to correct it adequately. Um, unfortunately, the dentists who do this correctly are very rare and that's why I try to refer people to the ones that I know of that I've learned, uh, whether it's in the United States or uh, South Africa or England or wherever, uh, the ones that I know of that are uh, wonderful biological dentists that have learned the interrelationship between our teeth and our body's organs and how to correct the problems that we have that cause us things like cancer. Um, they're wonderful people, but they're quite rare because, you know, they have to be members of the local dentist association in the United States or in, in, in Europe, wherever. And they are breaking out of that mold and becoming healing dentists and this is not very popular with the dental associations, so they have to be careful. And we have to be careful in choosing them, and that's why I try to give people as many uh, criteria as possible for choosing a competent dentist. Um, it's not that hard, but they, they are quite rare, and people have to travel typically a thousand miles or more to find a good competent dentist and this is not uh, easy to convince them but I try to do that.